Good morning, Washington High School. Today is Tuesday. It is May 8th, uh, and it is an A day. I've got a couple of pieces of information, especially for seniors, about some opportunities and responsibilities you have leading up to graduation, but there are a few warriors who need to fill you in on some opportunities of their own. What's up? Time for pizza next week, May 18th, senior pizza party. Anyone can come. 8 p.m. It's at Pizza U Design, but we call it Pizza U, so let's get that in your It's going to be crazy. It's yeah. going to be like Woodstock. You know, like, yeah, exactly like that, but, you know. Yeah. They remember Woodstock. All right, so Harmon had to leave early, so today I'll be doing the weather. So there are star storms possible tonight. Um, there are threats of wind, small hail, and heavy rain in southern Iowa, and there will be a greater chance in Cedar Rapids tomorrow. So, yeah. All right, Washington High School, this next couple of announcements are specifically for seniors. Class of 2018, congratulations. It's so close you can taste it, but there are a few hurdles that you still need to clear, including that final CPR training for seniors, which will be held on Wednesday, tomorrow, May 9th, all day, starting, uh, with, uh, starting with first period all the way to the end of the day in the wrestling room. There is no longer an online section to complete. You just need to show up, but it is a state requirement that every senior have CPR training before they receive their diploma. So do not give your folks a heart attack and have to use CPR to revive them on graduation night. Get that CPR training done so that you can walk later this month. In addition, seniors, if you did not fill out that yellow graduation info sheet in the auditorium, that was on Monday, uh, April 30th, Monday of last week, stating where you would like your final transcript to go and what your plans are for after you graduate, please make sure to see the counseling office secretary so that you can fill one of those out. This is information that we want to know. You don't stop being a warrior after you graduate. We still want to help support you and know what the next stage of your journey includes. Get to Mrs. Wheeland if you haven't filled out one of those yellow post-graduation plans. Finally, seniors, if you have not picked up your senior rec night medals or certificates, please see Amanda in the main office so that you can pick up those trophies, those checks, and those certificates that show how proud we are of you and what you've accomplished while you were here at Washington High School. Now, this next announcement is for juniors. Class of 2019, ask any senior what one of the big struggles is when they are looking forward to college, and they will tell you that financial aid is one of those struggles. I hope you read Riel's great article in The Last Surveyor about her concerns about paying for college. One way that you can help yourself out, juniors, is to attend a financial aid meeting on Tuesday, May 8th. That's today. It's at 5.30 p.m. in our Washington cafeteria. A representative of the Iowa College Access Network will speak for about an hour. They'll cover such things as completing the free application for student financial aid, how and when to apply for financial aid, sources of financial aid, and how to find scholarships to help pay for college. Talk to seniors. College is a large ticket item, but it is so worth the cost. You can bring that cost down by applying for financial aid and scholarships, and you can get a huge leg up on that search if you go to that financial aid meeting tonight in the cafeteria that starts at 5.30 p.m. If you're interested in serving on student, in Student Senate next year, make sure to pick up an application. They are located outside room 119, that, that's Mrs. Derrick's room. She's real quiet and subtle, so you may not have heard of her before, so just go outside room 119 and pick up an application for Student Senate. Now this one is for 10th graders, sophomores, class of 2020, gear up Iowa Summer Summit opp opportunities. Sorry, I do not uh, speak well. This is open to all 10th grade students. Gear Up Summer Summit is a way for students to get on a college campus and learn about preparing for college, leadership skills, and campus resources. There are four different summits throughout the summer, and each one is one day long. Applications are due May 11th. That's later this week on Friday. Please see Mrs. Mangrich for more details.
And this just in, a couple of uh, sports announcements. The men's soccer team won two games, both on Friday night and on Monday night. The JV team beat Waterloo West 2-1 with goals from Trent Strom and Sam Arkenberg. They then beat Cedar Falls 1-0 on a goal from Trent Strom. So Trent is on a bit of a roll. Don't bet against him. The varsity team beat Waterloo West 1-0, a goal from Mercy Nigeria Winza, and then beat Cedar Falls 3-1 last night. Scoring for the Warriors were Anders Bergstrom, Rami Sheets, and Max Mondanaro. Mercy had two assists, and Ethan, Ethan Stout had one assist. Big ups for the men's soccer team. Now, the women's soccer results last night against Cedar Falls. JV had a much improved performance all around, led most of the game, but ended with a late game tie. The score was 2-2 with goals by Glenda Funes Garcia and McKaylee Deshaw. That varsity team got back to our winning ways with another victory last night over a high-scoring Cedar Falls. Uh, Bailey Ingledow assisted... Uh, I'm sorry, goals came from Bailey Ingledow, who was assisted by a great corner kick from Hannah Sakura, giving us the 1-0 lead going into halftime. The Warriors battled in the second half and finally scored their second goal from a 40-yard wonder strike from Savannah Tompkins, who was able to put it in the back of the net, giving the Warriors a solid lead. The last goal came from Julie Holt, who kept her scoring streak hot, adding to her tally as the team leader in goals. Both teams return to action Thursday of this week at home, as they play against Iowa City Regina. So make sure that you are showing up on Thursday of this week to check out the Women Warriors soccer team beat up on the Regina team. Now, there are some birthdays that I need to make sure people are aware of, but I just want to give big shout out and thank you to all of those students who are participating in the Blood Drive in the WHS Auditorium. We all know that every warrior bleeds blue and red, the, uh, but in the auditorium today, they are bleeding for a very good cause. Make sure that if you have signed up, that you are making your appointment time so that you are helping out those in your community. Uh, there is a uh, meeting in uh, committee I'm so sorry. Committee WHS is meeting today. That's in room 128. Uh, best of luck to the women, uh, to the JV women's soccer. Or I'm sorry, the JV women's golf meet out at Gardner today. They'll be playing against City High, Kennedy, and Xavier. And the women's varsity will be playing Dubuque Wallert Catholic at Dubuque Wallert. That'll be 4 p.m. this afternoon. Best of luck to the men's uh, varsity tennis match against Dubuque Wallert. That's going to be right here. And uh, the women's JV meet against Bittendorf uh, for track against Bittendorf, Iowa City High, and City High School. Best of luck uh, at City High School this afternoon. Don't forget about that uh, school uh, financial aid presentation. That's 5.30 tonight in the cafeteria. If you happen to see Paris Jones in the hallway, wish that warrior a very happy birthday. The only warrior celebrating today. But tomorrow, Marissa Bees, Abby Hackenmiller, Matthew Haley, Maeve Murphy and Adam Todd will all be celebrating birthdays tomorrow. You can buy them lunch. Chicken crisquitos with cheese sauce, corn burger basket, fruit parfait, pick two chef salad, pasta bar, sub sandwich, pizza, wedge. Soccer and tennis, uh, uh, what do you call it, track and financial aid and all kinds of great things reminding you that today and every day, it's a great day to be a warrior.